ivory in the living room, accented by bright wallpaper to reflect the natural light of the room's southern exposure. The color of the walls in the master bedroom are what I call Sweet Dreams Blue, which also happens to be our client's favorite color, using white accents and a variety of texture. Using, <laughs> using white accents with a variety of textures, mixing slick, soft, and rough, we create a dynamic palette. together throughout the house. Sebastian we are talking about. Fine is never good enough. And you're going to be great. Thank you. Throughout the house, grouping collections ensures a mix of levels and shapes that increase the visual impact of the new design. In the living room, we will have warm ivories accented by bright wallpaper to reflect the natural light of the room's southern exposure. In the guest bedroom, the mix is more about pattern than collection. We take a pivotal floral fabric and then blend that with other florals of different scales, but from the same color family. In the end, the new design will give the Tannenhill home a feeling of warmth through color, texture, and dimension. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you, Rose. That was very informative. Informative? I mean, what does that even mean? It means you liked it. She didn't like it. She didn't hate it. That's a real confidence booster. <laughs> oh, come on, Rose. You've been working with Carolyn for three years now, ever since you got out of design school. And you know as well as I do that she's got a poker face that can put a casino out of business. Yeah, but th this is different. The Tannen Hill House is the biggest design project that I have ever had. I mean, this could be my Mona Lisa, my Venus de Milo, my Abbey Road. Abbey Road. The point is that I think I could really just knock this out of the park. Okay, well, let's just wait and see, okay? What were you going to say? What? Nothing. I'm not talking to Rob, my boyfriend. I'm talking to Rob, my colleague, who has never pulled punches with my career. Tell me. Okay, look. The only suggestion I would make is to maybe throttle back a little on all the flowers. What? And the grip. Yeah, look, personally, I think it's fine. And I know how much you love flowers. I mean, with your family's lily farm. Tulip. Tulip farm. Lilies require an entirely different soil composition. And with the cool nights up in Washington, they would Just never... maybe try and say it without all the flowers next time. Really? But I meant what I said. You never know with Carolyn. Just wait and see. Before. No. Well, by your presentation, you sounded as if you knew every square inch of this house by heart. I studied the pictures a lot and kind of <laughs> fantasized. And now that you're here, what do you think? It's 
Nice. Nice. Rose, if you truly want to be a designer, you're going to have to be far more descriptive than nice. Uh, well, the natural light makes it feel very warm, inviting. But the emptiness makes the room feel hollow, without purpose, incomplete. The Tannen Hills bought this house before they went to Paris, and they will be back at the end of the month, and the house has to be ready by the time they get back. Ready? You start now. Look around, absorb, digest. Come to my office. Wait, Carolyn, are you, am I actually doing the interior design of this house? Unless you don't feel you're ready. No, I, I mean, I mean, yes, I am so ready. Then come to my office in the morning, bring your new ideas, and I will finalize my choices then. But I, what about my presentation? Rose. You have a vivid imagination. That is why I'm giving you this opportunity. Thank you. But the Tannen Hills are my oldest, most discerning clients and very dear friends. You didn't think that I was going to let you make all these choices by yourself. Right. Oh, and Rose, one more thing. It is very important for me personally that the Tannen Hills are thrilled with the results. You do this right, and you have a very bright future at my company. You do it wrong. Understood? Thrilled. Absolutely. Still at it? I have to get these designs to Carolyn in the morning, and the Tannen Hills have to be thrilled, or my next job will be designing a doghouse for a discerning retriever. So I take it dinner's off? Oh, I am so sorry. I completely forgot. <laughs> I'll take a rain check. Do you want me to stick around and give you a hand? You'd just be a distraction. Normally, I would love to be a distraction, but in this case, I better let you get back to work. Call you later. Better. Hey, Mom. Hey, sweetheart. How are you? Good. I'm sorry. I haven't had a chance to call you back. I've just been exhausted. Wait. Are you still at work? <laughs> yeah, but Mom, it's fine. I'm actually working on this really cool project. Uh, it might be a big step for me. Is everything okay? Sure. Uh, you know what it's like around here this time of year? Waiting for the tulips to come in? Taking orders? Pretty busy, as I recall. But I did finally talk your father into hiring a new operations manager. Oh, well, that's good. Maybe he'll start to delegate some of the work for a change. Well, he never had any problem delegating work when you were here. Mom. Oh, fine. If you two are too stubborn to even talk to each other. But Mom, there's nothing to even talk about. Why don't you think about coming home for a few days? I mean, you and Dad could work the tulips together like you used to. Look, even if I wanted to come home right now, I couldn't. I understand. I, it was just a thought. Don't work too late. I love you. I love you too, honey. Look, 
I can have them start in the bedroom first, but I need those shutters here Tuesday morning at the latest. Uh, uh, all right, all right. Um, you're out. Well, thank you. Bye. He was working on the roof and he fell. Broke his leg. What? Is he all right? Well, he will be. Goodness. But he's going to be in a cast for a couple of weeks. We were just lucky that his broker was with him. Since when did you guys start working with a broker? Since we haven't been able to keep up with everything ourselves. But Dad always said that brokers are just slimy middlemen out to cheat you. I'm sorry, I am completely off point. Where is Dad right now? He's at the hospital. And the doctor said he should be able to come home tomorrow. With his leg in his cast and the tulips ready to bloom? We'll manage, Rose. How? Dad's out of action. You can't take care of him and run the farm. Not to mention the tulips aren't going to harvest themselves. You just keep focused on your work, honey. Mom! Listen, I've got to get back to the hospital. I'll call you later. I love you. I love you, too. Two weeks? Two weeks. They need me, Carolyn. The tulips are ready to be shipped to the retailers. What about the Tannenhills? The house is really coming along. And I can do all the rest of my work from my computer. Uh, phone calls, emails, everything. But you won't be there. Correct. But I can ask Rob to check in and make sure that everything is running smoothly. And we can Skype, discuss everything. Uh, it's totally doable. I, I can really, I can handle this, Carolyn. And in an emergency, you are on the first plane back. Carolyn Designs must be the priority. Absolutely, it is. Thank you. doing just fine till you stuck your head out the window. Well, I wasn't expecting to find some stranger up on my parents' roof. I work with your folks. Tom Novak. Nice to meet you. Rose Newell. I know. Your parents are really looking forward to you being home. Not in equal measure, I'm sure. Where are they? On their way back from the hospital. Oh, and uh, I'm sorry, why exactly were you up on the roof? Well, when your dad fell, he pulled down part of the gutter. I was putting it back up. Oh. Well, I'm going to go check out the tulips. I'll give you a ride. I can walk. Not in those boots. When's the last time you were home? After I finished school. Three years. It's a long time. It's a long story. 
What are those? Yeah, I've been gone a long time. Those are called hothouses. I know what a hothouse is. What are they doing out here? Frank put them in last year. He didn't tell you? My father and I haven't exactly had a lot to say to each other since I moved to Los Angeles. You might have mentioned that. You talk to my parents about me? No, we just talk in general. You are a part of their lives, so you are a part of the conversation. Oh. The only person my mom has talked to me about is some slimy new broker they hired. Slimy? Well, my word's not hers, but I mean, come on. Brokers are basically salesmen, and salesmen are all... Slimy, yeah. Exactly. <sighs> Where is everybody? The crew starts tomorrow. Tomorrow? But the tulips are ready now. They're practically jumping out of the ground. This is your responsibility. Excuse me? As operations manager, you're supposed to stay on top of this. Oh, look, there's the car. Okay, I should probably clarify one thing. Uh... Hey! Oh, my gosh. Oh, my oh, God. You look great. Oh, thanks, Mom. So do you. Oh, hi, Tom. Hey, Sarah. Sorry we weren't home. Took longer oh. at the hospital than we expected. How's Dad? Why don't you ask him yourself? The prodigal Newell returns. Hey, Dad. How are you feeling? I'm okay. You didn't have to come all this way. I still got one good leg. Well, I thought you could use the help. Aren't they going to miss you back in Los Angeles? Play nice. And she's right, Frank. We do need the help around here. I'll figure something out. You took a nasty fall. Would have been a whole lot worse if Tom hadn't been here. Just glad I could help. Wait, I thought you said Dad was with the broker when he fell. Tom is our broker. But you can call me Mr. Slimy. Trucks will be here at 6 a.m. sharp. We'll see you then. The whole time I was growing up, you were like, no brokers, they're just sneaky businessmen out to cheat you. We didn't make this decision lightly. There were a lot of factors that your father and I... The point is, Tom's different. He's local. He works with a lot of farms in the valley, and he grew up with flowers just like you did. <laughs> Except I'm not out to make a big profit by marking up prices. But you did decide to run off to Los Angeles instead of helping with the family farm. I didn't run off to Los Angeles. I told you. I wanted my own career. Rose, honey. I'm glad you're home. We both are. to be back here at the family farm at this most crucial mm, too dramatic this most at this most this most awesome uh, awesome mm, it's to california at this most at this most at this wonderful at this most wonderful time in the season i am so happy and gratified to be back here I'm probably the only person you know that doesn't drink coffee. Earl Grey. Milk, no sweetener. Your mom told me. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Thank you. Where's Frank? I haven't seen him this morning. I think my mom's probably keeping him off his feet. Smart. It was a scary fall we took. 
You're really Johnny on the spot, aren't you? What? You were there for my dad in an emergency. You fixed the gutter, my tea. You don't like the tea? Don't be charming. Seriously, it's not going to work on me. I may be from here, but I've been to the circus. I've seen the elephants. It's a metaphor, right? It means I'm here to take care of business for my folks. While I'm handling paperwork, if you try to raise your percentage up even one-tenth of a point, you will no longer be their broker. Good to know. Great boots, by the way. Rose, this is Billy Chambers. He's the new operations manager. Hi. Hi, Billy. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for getting this crew together and for renting the trucks. No problem. Uh, it's my job. Morning, everybody. Now, it's not our first rodeo, so everyone knows we got a long day ahead of us. Let's just try to... Excuse me, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> can, I, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. Um, what are you doing? Just getting everyone ready to go. You're our flower broker. Technically, you don't work for us. And since I am in charge, I thought I should be the one to kick things off. See? I have diagrams. Yes, you do. <laughs> sure. You don't mind? All yours. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hi. I am so excited and gratified to be here. Some of you may know, tulips were first brought here from Holland at the end of the 19th century. But by the 1920s, local tulip farmers had planted hundreds of acres of flowers that would become the foundation for what is... Sorry, folks, I should have uh, made the introductions. This is Rose Newell, Frank and Sarah's daughter, and... She's going to let us know how today's going to go, so let's listen up. Thank you, Tom. Mm -hmm. I am Rose, and uh, I, I brought I brought diagrams. So why don't you just uh, pass, pass these around, and you can take a look and see how the day is, uh, is going to go. Here we go, everybody. Uh, I'm so excited to see what happens today. Uh, where's lunch? Oh, of this. I'll see lunch on here. What about breaks? Don't we get breaks? Of course. The, um... Yeah, lunch is at noon, and take breaks when you need them. As long as you don't take advantage, Donald. <laughs> Maybe you should just, just go for it. You sure? All right, so... Thank you, Rose. As I was saying, uh, long day. You all know the drill. wanted to say thanks. Well, this is the smoothest I've seen one of these things go. Wow. No thanks to me. You saw it. My speech totally flopped. No, your, your speech was it was uh, really bad. But <laughs> but I don't, I don't. I didn't mean the speech. I meant uh, you know, the way you pitched in. A lot of people in your position they wouldn't want to get their hands dirty, but you you. Once you got started, you were a machine. <laughs> Stop. These people, they'll see that. They appreciate it. Oh. This was always my favorite time of year. Replanting the tulips and getting them ready to go out. It always gave me this feeling that year after year, all over the world, the people were really enjoying are beautiful. Flowers. You got a real talent for it. Mm. 
What is he doing? I told him. I, I'm not completely helpless. I can still get around. How are the tulips coming? Right on schedule. We'll start in there after lunch. Uh, don't worry about that. That's something else. Dad, what are you talking about? Frank, you didn't tell her? I didn't think she'd be interested. In. Tell me what? Newell Farms is an official entry in the Valley Tulip Festival competition. But I thought you entered the tulip competition every year. Tom here has pulled some strings, and our entry is also going to be considered for a national competition. We're going to pick the 10 best tulips from all across the country. Yeah, that's great. No, he hasn't told you the best part. Every year they pick a new flower, and then they promote the winner as part of the America the Beautiful campaign. Cool. It's going to make a big splash. People all over the country will know about Newell Farms and... Things could get a lot busier around here. And your father has created a brand new hybrid tulip just for the occasion. So that's why you built the hothouse, to keep the new hybrid isolated. You haven't grown a new hybrid tulip since I was... It's been a while. Can I see it? Plenty of time for that later. You two still got a lot of tulips to get in. Is that... Violet Mason. Hi, Frank. Violet. Looks like Mason Farms is doing pretty well. I brought you lunch. I already ate. Oh, well, this is real food, not a sandwich. Hey, Violet. Oh, my gosh, Rose. Do you know each other? <gasps> yeah. Violet and I went to grade school together. We haven't seen each other since Violet went to boarding school. And you went off to L.A. It's like neither one of us could keep away. I'm actually not staying. Well, I am. Uh, Tom, would you walk me to my car? No, oh, I should get back to work. It'll just take a minute. So, we'll be right back. See ya. What's going on in here? What's the big mystery? What happened? I have no idea. Have you thought about my offer? I'm really busy. Well, if you can't even work for me, you never have to do this again. I like what I do. Uh, Tom, you're a middleman in a very unpredictable business. One bad season, one bad decision, and you could be out of a job overnight. I don't want to see that happen to you. Just promise me you'll think about it. I'll think about it. I don't understand. They should be much further along than they are right now. We looked at every possible variable. Temperature, light, soil. Everything's exactly the way it should be. Well, something's obviously off. Well, feel free to figure it out while you're here. How long until you have to have a tulip ready for the competition? Two weeks. There's still a chance that they could bloom in time, right? Look, whatever the problem is, you'll figure it out eventually, and you'll have a tulip ready for next year's competition. I need that competition I told you about. It's a one-time thing. There is no next year. Not to mention Tom has pulled a lot of strings to get us entered. It's his reputation, too. Then you need to tell him. Let him see what's going on. I'm sure Tom will understand. Understand what? There's a problem. Maybe it's a hot house. What about the joints? They sealed up tight? We've been over that place with a fine tooth comb. It isn't a hot house. But what about the temperature, the amount of light? You know, Billy's been on top of it since I told him about the hybrid. He keeps the temperature steady, he makes sure the light's consistent. He's a terrific operations manager. Well, if Newell Farms doesn't have a tulip ready for that competition, the committee's going to give the slot to somebody else. Uh, I'm sorry. I mean, granted, this whole thing sounds great, but, I mean, if it doesn't happen, it's not the end of the world, right? This isn't just about getting picked, is it? 
What are you not telling me? We're a family farm, Rose. Small potatoes compared to those big outfits with thousands of acres. We've always managed, but lately it's gotten a lot tougher. And Tom came up with this idea as a way to help keep business coming in. Why didn't you tell me? You left. You said you were done with this farm. For good. Look, even if you figure this out and you fix it in time, there's no guarantee that you can win. And losing can't be good for business. Yes and no. You'd be surprised how well runner-up can sell if you got the right broker. Can you give us a week? to try and figure out what's wrong and fix this? A week. After that, I'm gonna have to let the committee know what's going on. Thank you, Tom. All right. Give us a week? I meant New Wolf Farm in general. Look, I'll take care of the business side. You try and stay off that leg and figure out what's going on. You should have told me. What would you have done? The lighting is pretty much done, and the painters are almost through in the screening room. How soon can you have those carpets delivered? What? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I'm just tired. Out of practice for this kind of work. How are the folks? Good. My dad and I even called a temporary truce so we can focus on the problems here. Such as? Such as business is off and their flower broker has entered them into this major competition, which it turns out they might not even be able to do. Flower broker? A middleman between supplier and distributor. But my parents have gotten pretty close to Tom. He's not bad, I guess, for a broker. He seems to really care about flowers. And my parents. Hmm. Sounds like a good guy. Uh, let me just uh, figure out the carpeting and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you. Sounds good. Okay. okay. I would have told you about the problem sooner, um, but Frank asked me not to. I get it. And you can't think of anything that might be causing it? No. Search me. All right. I should get a move on. What are you? I told you I'm here to take care of business. You're delivering tulips to local retailers, and that's part of the business. So, I'm going with you. Suit yourself. Pretty as ever. <laughs> Bobby and George are around back. They can help you unload while Rose and I get caught up. All right. Come in. Oh, I can't wait to show you around. Come on. <laughs> he did not <laughs> Wow. Just like I remember. You know, I remember you used to come in here when you were a little girl helping your dad make deliveries. And you always had a new plant or flower to show me. 33 years I've been running this place. First with Stan, now with my son and grandson. It's the way it should be. Family's working together. 
My dad would agree with you there. How is Frank? He'd recover a lot faster if he'd stay off his feet. I know he loves having you home. Los Angeles is my home now. Well, sometimes the only sure way to know when you're home is how it feels when you leave it. does love her life. Well, it's a good life. Yeah. What about you? Do you love living here? Yeah. Sure. It's peaceful. Yeah. I love the outdoors. Me too. And yet, you're an interior designer. <laughs> Go figure. cheap suits who were afraid to get their hands dirty. Give me time. So how did you get into this? Well, I grew up not far from here, a little town called Grady. Mm. But uh, I went to school on the East Coast, got my business degree. Did pretty well for myself. Mm. I mean, at least according to how a lot of people see it. But not you? When I was growing up, my dad used to take me up in the mountains to camp and fish and just appreciate things. We always talked about doing it again. Uh, when I could get away. Anyway, he passed when I was in New York, so we never did get to take that last camping trip. I'm so sorry. I found myself thinking about that a lot. How easy it is to forget to appreciate things. One day a buddy of mine started talking about flower brokering, how it combines nature and business, and I had this aha moment. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, don't I know it. Orders just keep pouring in. I can't get the tulips out fast enough. What, what's on your mind, Violet? I've been hearing rumors. Rumors? About what? Frank Newell's tulips a bust. 
who told you that? Not the point. Look, that committee is expecting something special, and they're doing it based on your recommendation. What happens when they realize it's a waste of time? Who says it's a waste of time? Tom, you have to start thinking about your reputation in this business. People talk. Word travels fast. When Frank Newell falls on his face, I don't want to see you going down with him. I don't know, Frank. Billy was out there this morning. Have you tried calling him? The crew knows what they're doing, Frank. You just stay put. Just, right, just try calling him again. Let's not be home soon. Okay, sweetheart. All right, bye. Billy's not answering his phone. You said he's a great operations manager, right? He is. Oh, there's Ada. But wait, Mom, he's right over there. I've been working on a new hybrid tulip of my own. And it's going along pretty great. So that's what this is about? No, no, this is about you, Tom. I don't want you to ruin your reputation by putting too much faith in the Newells. They were my first clients. They've been good to me, so I'm not just going to walk out right now. This wouldn't have anything to do with Rose being back in town, would it? What are you talking about? Like I couldn't see the way you two were looking at each other. I have delivers to make, by the way. Just don't wait until it's too late. Once you start sinking, I may not be there to pull you back up. Okay. What is wrong with you? Sorry to call so late. I know why the tulips aren't blooming. The door was unlocked, and as soon as I got in there, I knew that it was too cold. It's 34 degrees. It's just about freezing. I tried the thermostat, but when the heater didn't kick on, I found this. We thought that the tulips were growing in the perfect temperature, 55, 65 degrees. And during the day when we were here, they were. Because the timer was set to bring the temperature back up during the day so we wouldn't notice. 
Tulips are very sensitive to extreme temperatures. So by setting the timer to nearly freezing, it's like sending a mixed signal to the tulips. They didn't know what to do. That's why they're not blooming. That kind of cold, they're supposed to go dormant. Whoever did this wanted to make sure that the tulips never blossomed. There's only three people who have a key to that door. Me, Sarah, and Billy. But why would Billy want to sabotage our tulips? First thing I'll ask next time I see him, then I'll fire him. Tom, you think you can get that timer off there and get our thermostat working again? If I can, I'll find someone who can. At least it's a relief to know why the tulips hadn't bloomed. But that's only half the battle. We still have to get a tulip to blossom in time to be ready for the competition. Is that even possible? Dad? Only one way to find out. have decided to come home early from Paris. It's raining or something, I don't know. But you need to get back to Los Angeles right away. Uh, but, Carolyn, I, I explained that... Yes, I know. But I have to fly to New York. Rob has his hands full already. And in order for this house to be ready, you're going to need to be there 24-7. I can't. I'm, I'm sorry. I have a bad connection. I thought you were going to say that you were on your way to the airport. There's a crisis here. My family's whole business is at stake. And we had an understanding. Carolyn Designs must be your priority. It is, absolutely. I, look, I can still handle things from here. Just give me a few more days and I will be on the first plane back. How many? Four. Three. A second later and you will be designing weight rooms for the motor vehicle department. Understood. idea how to get the tulips to blossom in time but it's risky how risky we all know how hardy tulips are hot cold wet dry they'll keep on fighting which is why these little guys are still hanging in there we need to find a way to accelerate their growth without shocking their systems if we can do that we could have a blossom ready in time if not we'll probably lose them all we have in mind we push the bulbs as hard as we can. We turn up the heat 70, 75 degrees, really get their blood pumping. Same time, we put a plastic sheet over the roof to create indirect sunlight without frying them. We cut back on the water, but we make up for it with plenty of hormones to promote growth. Then, <laughs> then we pray. All right. Well, there's your broker talking now. Is there any chance this could really work? A better chance than if we do nothing. If it's not too late. If the tulips are strong enough, and with a little bit of luck, it could work. We know you have a choice to make, Tom. It's your reputation on the line here. So if you want to try to find another entry to show those judges, we certainly wouldn't hold it against you. There's a chance. There's a chance. Well, then we better get to work.
always done. Someone like hotcakes. Good news for a change. There's still time before the competition, so wait and see. My boss called. There's some designing crisis with my career on the line. I have to go back to L.A. in three days. Three days? So you miss the judging at the festival? Look, Tom, this was always temporary. A way to help out my folks. I was always going to go back to my life in L.A. You have your life here. Bill Green and Violet. You think that Violet and I, that, that we are. Whoa. Well, she seems to think so. Well, she can think what she likes. It doesn't make her so. <sighs> Two dates. Second one, under protest. <laughs> All those work calls. I don't just work with Rob, he's also my boyfriend. Kinda hesitated there like you weren't sure. No, I didn't. Yeah, I think you did. No, I did not. I did not hesitate. I Rob is my boyfriend. See, there you go. I did not hesitate. Okay. Don't have to tell me twice. Sounds like a Match made in heaven. I never said it was a match made in heaven. Look, look, Rob is, he's a very nice guy. I mean, I, I like him a lot. There's absolutely nothing wrong with Rob. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Well, then you must be really excited to get back home. Yeah. Lucky guy. I'll see you tomorrow. resting. Oh, what's that? It's your father's medicine. That doesn't even take aspirin. I asked him to tell you, but he didn't want you to worry. It's for high blood pressure. What? He would never admit this, but I think it had something to do with his fall. Running this farm... It was hard enough when we were younger, but now with everything happening, I don't know, I just, I just think it's all too much. I saw the offer from Violet Mason. Are you guys gonna sell the farm? We haven't told her no. But what would you do? For sure. This is more than some. But a lot of these are responding really well. But is there going to be enough time? We're further along than we would have been, thanks to you. Dad. And I'm not trying to put any pressure on you. I know this isn't what you want to do with your life, and I, I accept that. I, I just want you to know how grateful I am for your help when we needed it. But I don't want to be the reason you guys lose your farm. Rosie, you're the reason we got a shot at keeping it. Do you want to? What do you mean? 
I know about the offer from Violet. Mom sounds like she wants to sell. Hey, your mom just wants to look after me. This farm has been in the family for a long time. I'm not ready to let it go just yet. Besides, we only need one. We only need one. And now I'm going to take everybody's advice for a change and get off my feet for a while. Sounds good. You've been burning the candle at both ends. You should find something fun to do for a change. I wish I could, but I have so much work to do for this job that I'm designing. We're proud of you, Rosie. You know that. Thanks, Dad. And if you change your mind later, they still do that bonfire just the way you used to love it. Just say I'm trusting my instincts. And what do your instincts tell you I'm going to say when you have to come to me for a job? Any job. Violet, how do you know so much about what goes on at the Newell farm? Maybe I'm trusting my instincts. Or maybe you have an inside source named Billy Chambers. It's just business, Tom. Business. As in... Making sure your tulip gets chosen by the committee. You have my number, Tom. I suggest you use it. <laughs> I saw him head over that way. <laughs> In LA, if I want to see the stars, I have to look them up on the internet. Here, I just look up. Why'd you leave? I was expected to stay. By who? Mostly my dad. I had a, a gift, he called it. The proverbial green thumb. So he assumed I would take over the old farm just like he had from his parents. Whether I wanted to or not. But you, you didn't want to. It's not that simple. By the time I got to college, I had lived and worked on the farm my whole life. So the thought of staying on the set course for the rest of my life, I just... I wanted to try something different. So you chose interior design. Know, the complete opposite of anything I'd done before. My roommate was studying it, and she'd always come home with these beautiful creations. Not to mention, she was never covered in dirt. So, I had a few classes. Mm. You have it frank like that. Things came to a head when I got a degree in design instead of in horticulture. So that's why you haven't been back for so long? 
Yeah, I got offered a job at Carolyn Design right out of school. And I've lived in Los Angeles for a long time since. But she came back. When your parents needed you, that means a lot to your dad. Maybe you could visit more often now. Maybe. Maybe. I I should I should go. Still not ready. Well, we're getting there. That's the important thing. And we still got a couple days left. Oh, look at this one. Buds are almost open. There has to be something else, something that I'm overlooking. I mean, look at them. They're so close. Rosie, you've done everything. I couldn't be prouder. Now, we just have to have a little faith. tulips your whole life. There's not much you don't know. All these years, everybody said I could grow anything. I come home, the one time I need to, I just don't want to let them down. Rose, not in a million years. I, I should probably get this. Hey, Rob, is everything okay? You tell me. I left a couple messages. I haven't heard back. CCing you on all the emails with the contractors, and everything should be right on schedule with the Tannehill house. I know. I got them. Okay, well, send me an email tonight, and let me know what you need to get done, and I'll take care of it when I get home. <laughs> Actually, I was just calling to talk. Oh. How are things going with the tulips? Fine. Uh, well, maybe. We'll, we'll know tomorrow. And you come home the next day? Yeah. Looking forward to it. I miss you. I miss you too. Well, see you soon. See you soon. Move over. There you go.
Tomorrow's a big day. Whatever happens, we still have a bigger decision tomorrow. Let's cross that bridge when we come to it. Good enough to win. Did you see how happy you made your parents? It's not going to save the farm, Tom. Not with business falling and cutthroat competition like Violet. How long until they have to sell this farm? Move into town, into some, some condo. And Dad puttering around in some tiny backyard, buying tulip bulbs from a department store. <laughs> you could at least pay attention to me. I thought that's no, why no, you came I was, back. I was. I just wouldn't. What is that? into the judges today. They keep all the entries together until the last day of the festival when the winner is announced. What about the Floral Society? Well, they're flying in for the competition and that's when they'll make their decision about why Frank every new hybrid needs a name. What are you going to call this little beauty? The tulip for Rose. Say tulip. Tulip. Oh, thank you for 
for all of your help. We couldn't have done all this without you. Happy to do it. So I have an early flight in the morning. I guess that I won't see you before I go. So this is goodbye. Take care, Tom. You. You feel it, too. It's not just me. Tell me you don't feel it. I won't say another word. I'll turn around and I'll walk away. And that'll be that. flying in yesterday. I did, but I, um, I had so much to do with the tan and hill house that I um, I went straight there from the airport and then I, I worked all afternoon and last night. And no, that it makes sense. They're coming home tonight, I hear. Yeah. I'm just glad to see you. Oh, thanks. You too. Do you want to have some dinner tonight? We can catch up. Sure, yeah, that's, yeah. Rose? Carolyn, hi, how are you? Grab your things, you're coming with me. Let's go. Uh, wh why? Where are Today, we? Today, Rose. I told you how important this project was to me personally, didn't I, Rose? Uh, yes, you did. And that I wouldn't be satisfied unless the Tannen Hills were completely thrilled with the results? Uh, Carolyn, I... And I also warned you what to expect if anything went wrong, especially after you decided you had to see the tulips. Yes, you warned me. Well, congratulations. You did it. Did it? I didn't think it was possible. I've been through the entire house, top to bottom, inch by inch. And it's absolutely perfect. The Tannen Hills will be thrilled. Really? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, thank you. Sorry. And with my help and guidance, you had a definite advantage. Of course. But I saw something in you, and I'm never wrong about these things. Which is why, for your next project, I think you're ready to go it alone. My next? A chateau in the mountains. The view on the outside is lovely. Inside, not so much. I'll send you the specs when we get back to the office. I'm really eager to hear your ideas. You're not going to have to worry about tulips for a very long time. you out here, Violet? Oh, I just wanted to say hi, see how Frank was getting along. Just fine, thanks. Ah, I'm so happy to hear that. It must be so hard to manage this place when you can't get around. I do all right. And we've got a lot of help. But with Rose back in Los Angeles, I mean, it's not going to get any easier. I suppose not. Oh, which reminds me, have you had a chance to look over my offer? Uh, we have, as a matter of fact. Oh, maybe we should go inside and talk about it. That's okay, Violet. We can say no out here. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, what my wife is saying is uh, we appreciate the offer, but we're not ready to sell just yet. 
Oh, this doesn't have anything to do with the little uh, misunderstanding with Billy. I, I mean, because I want to be very clear, I had nothing to do with that. Sabotaging your tulips was, uh, was completely his own idea. It's funny you should bring that up. See, I was over at the garden store talking to Ada. Did you know she sells timers exactly like the one we found in the hothouse? Is that so? Uh-huh. And the funny part is, she has only sold one of those things in the last few months. But I suppose you know that already. Because you're the one that bought it. You know, even if the committee picks your tulip, there's no guarantee that it's going to fix your business. You could still lose this place. That may be true, Violet, but we'd still rather take a chance on our daughter than sell this place to you. Fine. Have it your way. Oh, and needless to say, I'm withdrawing my offer to you for a job. Needless to say, but you uh, said it anyway. I know. We may not like it, but she's right about one thing. One way or another, business has to get better. I'll help any way I can. Thank you, Tom. I hear you were a big hit today. That's fantastic, Rose. I'm so happy for you. Oh, thanks. So, you ready to celebrate? Mm. You know, and I think you're amazing. So are you. But we're just not amazing together. What? And I think that's important for both of us. Yeah. I, I care about you a lot, Rose. But I think that we deserve amazing. Don't you? Are you breaking up with me? You're breaking up with me. <laughs> Did you want me to wait to let you break up with me? No, 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 oh my gosh, no, no, no. And you're right. We both deserve amazing. We'll find it. And when we do, we'll know. <laughs> so, you hungry? Because I'm starving. <laughs> Yes, I did. We don't have a lot of time, but we have a conference call in half an hour. The Kendalls are in Montana or Monaco or something. You're going to have to toss out some ideas. Carolyn, there is... Yes, what? I need to tell you something. Oh, no. We've lost you to the tulips. Those lucky flowers... stick around this afternoon for the announcement of this year's winner of the flower competition. When did Tom say that committee was getting into town? Not till after lunch when they're doing the judging. 
Are you sure you're up for this? Hmm? Wouldn't miss it for the world. Who could that be? Everybody's at the festival. <laughs> Who is it, Sarah? Hi, Dad. Rosie? <laughs> I don't understand. I kept telling everybody that I needed to get home, and I thought that meant Los Angeles, but as soon as I got there, all I could think about was this farm, and you two, and how I feel when I'm here, and how much I miss it. What about your job? It was great, really, but I don't belong there. I belong here. Are you sure? I don't know if it's a gift or not. All I know is that helping things grow is what I love to do and I have never been happier than when I was here. I'd like to keep no farm in the family. If that's okay with you. I don't know what to say. I do. When do you start? Oh, How about we take today off? I hear there's a big festival in town. Not to mention a very important flower contest. <laughs> This way, come on. like a great plan. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? We have the judge's decision. Competition is Newell Farm. For their 
new hybrid, a tulip for rose. enjoyed tulips in spring. The flowers in this movie were so beautiful and everyone knows that I love flowers. Oh God, they were amazing. And it, you know, who wouldn't fall in love on a tulip farm? <laughs> it's so easy. And you have a real green thumb? Uh, well, I don't have a green thumb as, as so much as Rose does, I mean, but I try, I try. Very I made these. <laughs> beautiful. By the way, Home and Family weekday starting at 10 o'clock and you're only going to find it where? 